Bonjour, Emily Talpin, OM System Ambassador in the US. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to give you five essential gear for macro photography. So let's get started. You know me, macro photography is one of my favorite subjects and I always have a camera, so the OM5 or the OM1 with a lens. Right now I have the 90mm macro and I have my flash and my AK diffuser, but if I want to go smaller I can do the 60mm macro. So that is my go-to gear if you are interested in knowing more about what lens you should get. I have a video. I'm going to put it right here on the screen so you can go and see the video if you haven't seen it. And if you have questions on which lens you should use. Also, I have a great interview with Zamir who created the AK diffuser. So also, I'm going to add that right here on the screen if you are interested in knowing more about this diffuser. But this video is not about lenses, it's not about flash, it's not about my diffuser. It's about extra non-camera gear, non-diffuser gear that I think are essential when you are trying to build a great kit and you need a few extra gear to do some macro under certain circumstances. And it's true, most of the time, that's all I have when I go and shoot. But if I want to create a specific photo, sometimes having a little bit of extra gear is useful. So what are those gear that I have with me? Number one, a light. Light is essential. So right now I have the Litra, but this specific light actually is discontinued. So you can probably find it used or you can also get a similar product. I think Loom Cube makes those. The problem with the Litra was that it can get so hot, but it's, you know, if you don't use it too, too long, it's okay. And what I love is that you can uh, recharge it with a cable and also it's magnetic. So you can put it on anything that is metal. So it's, it's great. I've used it actually to go camping. I just stuck it on my car and it works very, very well. So I highly recommend it. Now, why do I carry a light like this? Because I can add some filters and I can change the color of my light. I can do different ambience. I can do a blue ambience behind. That's kind of more mysterious. Um, it's just fun. You can be very, very creative. And usually that's my go-to gear when I'm out in the forest and I'm looking for mushroom because I love to do glowing mushrooms. They are just so fun to set up, so fun to photograph. So that's a couple of examples of glowing mushrooms. And this is a very small piece of equipment. You can have that in your pocket, but light as a photographer is essential. It's essential to control the light when you are doing macro photography. So that is my number one piece of gear that I have with me all the time. Number two, this is more like a couple of items, but they fit in that little bag that I have. I don't know what this bag is, honestly. I just got it from a friend who wanted to get rid of it. So perfect recycling this bag, it works. So first thing that I have with me is water because sometimes I think that some subject would do better with some water added to it. I love to do refraction and sometimes there is no water so I need to add my own water drops. That's why I carry contact lens container. I just, you know, broke the inside and now it's just a little container that I carry with me. Uh, really, really easy. And inside that I also have a little clamp just in case. I also have some tags, some paste, also just in case if I want to move things around um, and make them more stable, I have that. And here I have this to blow a little bit of air with 
this as well or brush uh, that is very useful for mushroom very often they're dirty so i like to clean them up so this is what i have right here and on the other side to add the water drop i have a syringe yes i know it's a little strange i'm carrying a syringe around but this is the best way to add water drop and to control them so highly highly recommend it also you could add to this kit a spray bottle just to do some mist effect that works very well that is something that i'm thinking of adding to my kit but very often when i want to do refraction that to me is the main way like 99 percent of the time i want to place a drop in a specific location that's why i carry a syringe but you can also try a spray bottle you won't be able to control where you are gonna have all those drops but here this is essential this is also coming with me in my small six liter bag when i do some mushroom and refraction photography so those two are essential to my kit number three a wireless remote control yes you can set a timer yes you can also use the app on your phone but very often this is just so small you know so easy to carry so it's also always in my camera bag and i can just set up my camera and usually i use you know natural elements or i might go with a small tripod because i have a bigger tripod that i can break down into a teeny tiny tripod that's very useful i also made a video about this tripod right here i'm going to put it on the screen so you can go and take a look if you are interested in having a more flexible tripod it's from free legged thing and uh, it's albert uh, that's the name of the tripod that i'm using right now because it's so flexible so having a wireless remote control is essential to me because i'm not going to touch my camera i don't want to introduce any vibration and so when i do refraction when i do mushroom photography then to me that's the way to go especially when i'm focus stacking now if i'm doing any insects no i'm not going to use that uh, because i'm moving around i don't have time to set up my uh, shots most of the time but for the rest yes definitely wireless remote control i think is the way to go now piece of equipment number four i love this it's a clamp from Wimbley. also i made a video a long time ago about this clamp uh, if you are interested same i'm gonna add uh, the link to a more in-depth review but i love it you can clamp it here to a branch you can uh, clamp it to your tripod and then if you want to set up a shot you have something very delicate here look at that you can put it right here or right here you have different places here that you can uh, fit your main subject or you might also want to have a diffuser to block uh, part of the light if you're using natural light so this is just very useful you can you know twist it around you can uh, attach it to your bag just uh, it's waterproof it's all plastic so a great addition to your camera bag and it's it's really really light so that's not going to be a problem it looks a little bit more cumbersome that all the other gear that I just showed you, but it's very light, which is great. I don't want to carry heavy things. And number five, it's a little bit unusual. I haven't seen that in many uh, reviews or many camera bags, but this is a Lazy Susan. I got it out of eBay. It is very small. I mean, look at that. That's the size of it. And I love it when I'm doing water drop refraction and I put my foreground subject here and sometimes I need to just turn it a little bit so maybe I want it to be completely parallel to my sensor to my lens and I don't want with my hand to move it so just with this this is this makes things just way easier especially if you are very clumsy so I really recommend it it's just a small addition again to your camera bag that's not something that i carry around with me in the field but that's definitely something that i have with me inside 
when I'm doing water drop, when I'm doing refraction. It works very well, super cheap to buy. You can get a couple of them, give some to your friends. So highly recommend it as a macro photographer. So that's it for my five items that I recommend as a macro photographer. What are your items that are always in your bag or in your studio? What do you think is essential as a macro photographer? Let me know in the comments right below. I think that would be a great topic of discussion for this week. And again, I want to thank you for supporting the channel. If you are not a subscriber, well, you know what? It's never too late. You can click on the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. And until next week, happy shooting. Au revoir.